There are so many people here. There's such energy. Silver Docks is a place where people can connect with the issues that shape their lives. We bring filmmakers in from all around the world for this one week to celebrate the best of documentary films. This is the 10th anniversary of Silver Docks in Silver Spring. There's something for everybody here and it'll just educate you and give you something extra in your daily lives. There's not enough appreciation for documentaries and I love that Silver Docks makes them accessible. Every movie either made you dance, sing or cry. Ultimately reminding us that we're all part of the human experience. What I love about documentaries is allow people to walk in somebody else's shoes. I want to take the cartooning and turn it into a set. I want to take the set and turn it back into a painting. Everybody wants their story told. characters, to subcultures, to people we have never seen before. Pitch something that no one else can do. I found the workshops to be incredibly helpful. I spend so much time with my characters that I become, they become part of my life and I become part of their life. But at the end of the day, I'm holding the camera. The conference is uh, just an awesome learning opportunity. Swap ideas um, and hear from a lot of experts about, you know, the latest trends. One of the things I like about Silver Dog so much is that you usually have some discussions after I films. It's not just doctors who are who are part of the system. We are all part of the system. We really hope that that our film can 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 change the conversation. That can really start a movement in the health insurance industry at the executive level. What's most important is meeting Wall Street's expectations, and they have to. These for-profit companies, by law, have to serve shareholders. As a first-time documentary filmmaker, I was moved by the power of documentary film. We're happy to be here in the company of such great films. Yeah. Uh, I'm here to see Don't Stop Believing. Beauty is Embarrassing. Escape Fire. Sweet Dreams. Queen of Versailles. The Waiting Room. Chasing Ice. How to Survive a Plague. My favorite film, hands down, was Detropia. It's because it left everybody in the theater going, how do we solve Detroit? Tonight we're watching the documentary about Paul Simon making Graceland. Being able to sit outside in the new Silver Spring, you know, this used to be a dead area, and now it's the center of the community. We just uh, attended the Guggenheim Symposium, and it was an incredible event. Two extraordinary men, and honor them for the work and the good that they've done. So the most exciting part of what I get to do is to shatter stereotype wherever I go. You know, our, our responsibility as documentarians is to, is to then share that experience in a way that's meaningful to an audience. It's the best of times and worst of times for documentary makers. There's all sorts of budgetary challenges, but it's never been more important to make documentaries. Some of the most important issues of the day are being covered by documentary makers. 